Welcome back to RimWorld. First and foremost, I need to apologize for yesterday's episode for two reasons. Number one, I had no idea sun lamps actually were supposed to take up that many amounts of watts. Was it 2800 watts? So what I'm doing is I'm going around disassembling all of the wall-based sun lamps because by comparison, they are very, very underpowered. They only require 10 watts a piece. So I'm going to dismantle all of those because honestly, they're ridiculously OP by comparison if they cost, you know, a hundredth or, or two hundredth less of the power cost of your regular lamp there. So those are going to go. And the other thing I wanted to apologize for was I killed all of those androids yesterday and people pointed out that one of them was force sensitive. I had no idea. I didn't even think it was possible that the robots in this game could be force sensitive. I guess it would make sense seeing as they're two separate mods, but my only concern with that is what also what the hell is that thing? Tutti, tutti fruity. Uh, uh, long spiny spi- uh, that, No, that's the phyto mining unit. Okay, sure. I was like, what the hell is this thing? But yeah, no, that's another one of those animals. Apparently it expels it in the form of long spindly strands on its back, so I guess it just shits out wool. Hey, it shoots- uh, Yeah, it gives us wool. Anyway, um, what I wanted to say was I, I didn't even think it was possible, but my concern with that is why would we never just not ro reprogram every robot to have force sensitive? Seems a little bit OP. Um, and it also doesn't seem thematically correct because robots can't be force sensitive as, you know, General Grievous, for example. They tried to make him force sensitive and couldn't, so just made him faster to keep up with other force sensitive people. It's, it's impossible. Um, even though Grievous wasn't a robot, he was a person, but the point is you can't, uh, you know, with mechanics and with engineering make someone force sensitive. Short of force crystals in Jedi Academy, but that's a whole confusing mess, so don't worry about that one with Jedi Knight, I should say. Anyway. More importantly, I didn't even think it's possible, but I will be on the lookout for that. So thank you to all of the 5,000 comments that left a comment saying, by the way, that robot was force sensitive. New recruit. Look at that. Who did we get? Oh, shit. We got the Ewok. Look at him. What is that? Bartender of Boosh Technocracy. He's so good. A little Ewok bartender. He's absolutely terrible. Don't get me wrong. But hey, um, sure. Welcome aboard. We didn't have an Ewok, and I'm all about equality here. So, uh, you know, everybody gets tortured equally. Warden. Maybe not. Negotiate again? Maybe not. Butcher and cooking? Nope. You are you are terrible at that, my friend. Um, do we even have a good cook still? It's just Cotway and Ain't It Ugdrass still, for the love of God. Everything. Cotway everything. Um, so, so what are we looking at? We're looking at the stupid little Ewok, aren't we? No offense. Uh, t tep Tepley, barkeep. Hunting is terrible. Honest. Oh my God. It's just going to be another quarrying, dude. It really is just going to be another guy for quarrying. What a, what a sad display, huh? We don't need anybody hauling, to be honest with you. Not with the hauling bots we've got. In fact, I'd rather not have them do that at all. I'd rather them do nothing than, than that, to be honest with you. Um, my guy, I, I don't know what I can have you do. My, hang on, he's a barkeeper. Let's have him keep the bar, then. Well, hang on. Uh, so, cooking table. The cook, cooking table, cooking whatever. Make fruit drink. Wait, can we also make inspect to go tea? But garden coffees. Fine. You know what, bartender? Bartend. Actually, get us some, uh, get us some uh, cooking stuff done, then. Okay, my little Ewok bartender, let's see what we've got then. So we want to brew, uh, what do we want? We want coffee, so we're going to do some multiple of, we'll do it to 120 times then, because it's multiple of 12, and then pause when you've only got, what, like 20 cups left, I think is fair. Take to the best stockpile, and then we just want Tepley doing that. I, like, I've got to find a job for my dude. I've, I've really got to find something for these guys to do, besides just sitting around all day. Spec to go tea, um, how much is that in bulk though? Chris by 100 each time. My God. Oh, Jesus. Uh, no, that's way too much. Wait, so if I... Oh, God. Okay. So, expect to go tea in bulk. Turns out we'll make quite a bit. And that also counts as 10% uh, recreation. That's cool. Um, so, we'll do that until we've got... I don't know. I honestly don't know what's a good amount. 50. Pause and then unpause at 5. You know what? Let's do that with the coffee as well. I I'd rather have a nice variety of drinks and just have him working more frequently, if that makes sense. Um, whoops. Didn't want to do that. Hang on. Sorry, I've got to be careful. I can't use my number pad because that affects the way OBS records because that's some of my uh, recording shortcuts. It's a little more inconvenient to it this way. Right, so we've got 12 cups of garden coffee. Spread the goat tea. Let's make garden tea as well. Why the hell not? So we'll do the same thing again. We'll do that until we've got 50 of those. And then unpause when we've got 15. And then we want that to be Tepley, our Ewok bartender. That's so cool. And then we also probably want to make fruit drinks as well. Not that it matters too much, but it does count as recreation so why the hell not her? Huh? Um, same story, I guess. But for some reason, I set that one to five. Why did I do that? Uh, any worker? Nope. And it's still Tepley. Thank you very much. And then Tepley. Pause when satisfied. On pause at 14. Give that 10. Nice. Okay, sweet. So what we've got to do now is plant ourselves uh, coffee beans, rainbow petals, tea leaves, and any sort of fruit. 
So I think setting up a little garden even in this area would be kind of nice, wouldn't it? Huh? So let's reinstall this this hoop somewhere, like more recreation area based. That'll do. Right. So let's set up a small garden then, just sort of around here. Um, I kind of want it in the residential area because that would be kind of nice. Oh god, the pumps are done. Holy shit, it took decades, but they are actually done. Right, we can get rid of that one now. Um, up here I've put a couple more in, so I obviously want to build our own personal spaceships up around here, but that's going to take a while yet. Um, let's just bring a cable down there. Are these ones done? Oh, they're actually done. Holy shit, I never thought I would see the day in RimWorld, where I was going to say we, we see a maximum size pump, well we haven't. Um, but, you know, it's as big as we need it to be. Get rid of them. We can actually get rid of them. Holy shit, we've reclaimed so much land with that. All right, so let's go uh, tea plant. We want in this one coffee plant. And then uh, I guess that would be the biggest one. So that'd be fruit. What else do we need? Oh, like rainbow petals. I assume they grow pretty fast, right? Um, I have a small limited lifespan. Lifespan 40 days. Growing time 8 days. So whichever grows the quickest, we'll put that on the smallest plot of land there. I might expand that one out a little bit too. Coffee takes 4.5 days. Tea takes uh, 4.25 days. Actually, I think tea is the shortest in that case, right? Yeah, by quite a significant amount as well. So sure, you can be tea. Um, you can be spec to go, and this one will just grow any old fruit, you know, because that's going to be used for our fruit seeds, and plus, you know, they could just eat that. Why do I not have access to any fruits, my dude? Uh, pincushion cactus, I suppose, is technically a fruit, right? Uh, yeah, what? Did I not get, like, agriculture too? Okay, there's all our fruits. Strawberries, and, and grapevines, and blueberry. Oh, god, okay, fine. You know what? We've got bigger fish to fry than worrying about fruit tea. So I'm sorry, my little Ewok friend. I am going to cancel that one. That's going to be a no from me. We've got enough there. That'll last. It's also make the base look a little nicer as well. And plus, I'm also going to expand out. We'll expand this one into tea as well. Um, so let's quickly... Why is there a beacon? Uh, oh, is that for... Okay, I think I installed that so that when they drop things off to the stockpile, that, that they drop it to that beacon. Anyway, one more tea. And then I think we probably also want to very, very quickly tell this over as well. Very well, we've got robots to help out with this, but it would also be good to give our our people, you know, I think it also counts as beauty, but also give them something else to do because we're kind of running out of stuff here. Um, what is this? Oh, ship flight basics. Should we actually finish that? Oh, God. Um, whoops. I didn't mean to, but that's, that's fine. Now, we do have a prosthetics trader. That's awesome. Let's go and see what they've got for us. This is really, really great news. Look at them all playing Rim Monopoly. Cotway, ain't it? Udras and Sedini there. Best of friends playing Monopoly. Well, they won't be for much longer. Advanced Power Arm is like the Barnet Khan, but with uh, melee, isn't it? 33.33. So absurd. That's just an absurd amount. They haven't got anything useful, though. They should have nothing useful at all. They've just got simple prosthetics and like a Barnet Khan. So we could take the Barnet Khan and upgrade it. We could take the Power Claw and upgrade it. I'm not going to bother. Well, that kind of sucks. We don't have enough Luciferium for everything, right? Oh, sorry, Luciferium. Uh, Plasteel, that's what I was getting at. We've got, we need Plasteel for the guns, for the ATST blaster cannons we're making. We need Plasteel for our colonists to churn out a bunch of bionics. We, oh nice, Kasaki. Kasaki Spoosh, apprentice to Krupp Boosh, has the force. That's fantastic. Right, more importantly, we need Plasteel for those. We need Plasteel for the bionics. We need Plasteel for the AI Persona Core, which we need to make the Luciferium to make the Resurrect to make Serum. So what I'm thinking is we actually spend a lot of our silver, because I assume we've got a fair amount at this stage, right? We've got 5,900. We could sell some other crap, though. We've got a lot of jade, and we've got a fair amount of gold. So why don't we take Krupp Boosh? Why don't we call Mining Co. and ask for a resupply, even though it costs us more, but just to just to buy the uh, just to buy the Plasteel. So it's 1,500 just to actually get the, tr the, uh, the transaction going. And then if we've got abundance of silver, we might as well just do this, right? Um, so take the Plasteel. It's 40... Oh, man, they've got 474. And it's actually a low price as well. Oh, look at that. Market average, $9. We're paying six thirty eight because we have good relations with these boys. They are obviously a trader of that. It's a mining co, and obviously Krupp Bush is a good negotiator. Fantastic. Sell them the gold. We want to keep some gold, though, don't we? I, I kind of want to make some money back from this, though. Sell them the chem fuel. Hey, that's a good point. We're not using the chem fuel. In fact, it's only been a liability so far, seeing as last time it was hit by a mortar and blew us all up. So you know what? That's hopefully going to help out a lot. Right, okay. So, it's, it's again, it's not a huge amount, but it's better than nothing. Um, now, how many more of those guns do we really need? Oh, my God. We've got a Masterwork one. Masterwork ATSD Blaster Cannon. Akashir's Exterminator. If only Akashir was still with us, he would absolutely get this gun. This weapon bears the artwork of Dylan Akashir Alduin avoiding a fatal ceiling that vanished behind a curtain of debris and dust. He's sweating with exertion. Fantastic. Takes place in a district built near a stream. 
I mean, you're not wrong. It, it absolutely did take place in a district built near a stream. Right, so look, who have we not got equipped with? So obviously, uh, Kisaki is going to get herself a lightsaber. Carl has a lightsaber. Kotwe has the gun. Lubov has a gun. Sidini has one. Mitsuya has one. Kord has one. Um, he's got 10.45 shooting. Honestly, I want to save the masterwork for our best shooter. So we'll, we'll wait for now. Um, can we get this excellent one? Elo Voknik. Can we get this good one? This is insane. This is absolutely nuts. So who's our best... I, I always say this every episode. I think it is Aina Ugdras. Isn't it? Aina Ugdras or Sidini. So 16.81 is the score to beat right now. Um, okay. Yeah, we're good. We're still good. Still 16.81. Sidini, 18.82. It's going to get the Masterwork Rifle. It's got to. It's just got to happen, hasn't it? Right, here you go, my dude. Equip this one, and then we'll give that to whoever the hell is next. It's got to be... Oh, well, my God. We're almost done already. We only need five more. We only need five more. And honestly... I feel like the perfect thing to test on is just rolled up in our front yard. This is fantastic. Um, I guess time to test out our blaster cannons, huh, boys? Okay, Priscilla. Oh, well, hang on. Wait for Sydney to come and equip this one. Whenever you're ready. That, wait, what did he do with the other one? What did he do with the other one, though? Has he got two? Wait, has he somehow got two equipped? I, I have no idea. I wanted to equip the other one, my dude, but he seems to have run off with it. Anyway, more importantly... Let's give this a go. So I'm going to send just those with the blaster cannons. That's everybody up to Priscilla. So everybody up to Elo Voknik. Send them in. Let's let's, let's hunt some thrumb. Uh, excuse me. Can you stop stop moving? All right, here we go. Right, let's let's go line up sort of like this. There we go. Perilous hunting Elo Voknik. I welcome it. I welcome it. Play. <laughs> this may be a little OP. This is pretty fucking dumb. Uh, Thrombo? More like... G -G Gonbo? That was terrible. Okay. Okay, this is, uh... Maybe a little OP? Maybe a little OP? What do you think? Giving everybody ATSD blast cannons might be a little... A little bit ridiculous. Holy shit. That's awesome. That's, like, genuinely very, very cool. I don't know why you can equip it. That's what I don't get. Why can we equip it? Let's just keep blasting it until it dies. Oh my god, okay. They're actually not quite as powerful as... Was it just the burn? Oh, you know what? They actually don't do that much damage. It's only... It's 62%. It's taking two volleys of that now. 48% from that one. What about the elephant? 41% um, from that one as well. So actually, it's just the burn damage. Because it does such a significant amount of burning, it's more like to knock people down without killing them. That like, could be a blessing in disguise, but the actual killing power is probably fairly low in that case. Interesting. Anyway, get this thing hauled urgently. Get the elephant hauled urgently. I think... Maybe getting some people on... Oh, God, don't say that. Um, we want to make... What was it? Like, five more? Something like that? Obviously, we're going to do it. Because this this is just ridiculous. All right, so... Priscilla, come and grab yourself a blaster cannon. Uh, let's get Aelin Pyro. To come and, uh, they don't seem like the type of person I would trust with a giant blaster cannon. But sure, why the hell not? Um, there's just Shari. Harper is a brawler, so technically it doesn't need one. So it's Shari. Ain't it all dress already has one? Oh, shit, we only need two more. Oh, my God. Hang on. Go back to this one. Uh, make only two more then, my dude. This is, this is so broken. I cannot, cannot wait for our next raid. We're just gonna blow them away. Obviously, unless they drop in right on top of us, which one we're probably gonna, we're gonna die. But, hopefully we're gonna blow them away. Got robots making AI Persona calls? This doesn't seem right. Oh, shit, wait. It says Plasteel AI Persona call. Can you make them out of other things? And I've just completely ignored it. Have we been able to build one this entire time? Uh, oh, maybe we can make them out of uranium. No, it needs uranium and gold. Why can you untick it then? If it's mandatory. I don't know. Let's let's not worry about it. More to the point, the AI core is done. Next up, Luciferium, which does require one AI persona core and one advanced components. I assume you make a fair amount with that, right, though, surely. Um, what's the output on that? Why can I not see it? Am I blind? Uh, it doesn't matter. Oh, 35 Luciferium. There we are. Products is right fourth from the bottom. So we get 35 Luciferium out of that. That's, that's quite a lot. That's actually a fair amount. And then we use... Oh, man, it's only one Luciferium to make a... To make some of these things. That's crazy. Um, so this one. Injected for Lazarus Mechanites. These Mechanites will spread out through the body and become inert. But if the host becomes incapacitated. The Mechanites will jump into action. And quickly try to heal any sustained injuries. Oh wow. Okay. That's why it's called the Lazarus Mech. Then in that case. Sure. Uh, it's only possible to heal normal injuries. Lost limbs. Permanent injuries or scars. Will remain very similar to using the force heal power. Sounds useful. Might We might want to inject, inject like Krupp Vush with that. Just to give them a second chance. Healing will drain energy from the mechanites, causing them to degrade quickly. If left in a... They, oh, they vanish after 10 days anyway. Okay, that seems a bit crappy. Healer mech will target the single worst health condition that would otherwise be incurable. 
Oh, cool. Forming limbs or organs as needed. Those sound useful. We've got fibrous mech injector. Greatly needs increased manipulation of movement speed, but makes them tired and cause pain. Okay. Taking multiple dice increases the severity of side effects and pain, so don't worry about that. Or we've got DNA reconstructor. Um... Oh, wow. What? Wait, what? Injector for reconstructive mechanism but developed to reconstruct a body from a few samples of DNA. They will create... So, they will only create dead tissue, so if the person will still be dead. Oh. What does that mean? Oh, right. The corpse can be resurrected without side effects. So that will rebuild a rotten corpse, and then you use the resurrector on it. That's nuts. Um, am I going to have to dig up every single grave now to find... Oh my god, we could bring everyone back. We can bring back Dog the Herder, who I definitely remember. And, obviously, Harper the Android. No, 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 wait. Wait, is that Harper? It contains Harper Android. Okay, I don't care. What happened to, um... What happened to Akashia, then? Because he's actually the one I wanted to resurrect. I don't remember where it... Oh god, please don't tell me we... We could resurrect all of these people. Hang on. Well, have we still got the robot in here that's, uh... force sensitive robot. There it is. We can actually bring them back. And they've got also... What's the point? Nine crafting. Interesting. I just counted up out of everything in the Crayot Dragon feeding room, there are four Force Sensitives. So uh, that's going to be a no for me. We're going to stop a meeting for a couple of days until we've got this Resurrector mech. So how many can we churn out? More importantly, how many of the other ones that rebuild uh, people can we churn out as well? So it's making 35 Luciferium. We want to make... Okay, so that's going to be 35. This one is just one per, one per Resurrector mech, right? Um, it's just one Luciferium. It's five medicine, seven advanced components. It's quite heavy on the advanced components thing. This is nuts, though. So it lets you rebuild a corpse. Let's make, like, three of those. And let's make... I mean, let's make five Resurrector mechs. I think that's fine, because those those bodies are still on ice. We want one for Krupp Vush's wife, which we can bring back no matter what now. I say wife or lean. We can bring back no matter what, even if she is rotten in this freezer. This is insane. This is a little bit OP, but I do kind of like the idea of rebuilding corpses and resurrecting them. That, that's cool. That, that's a much nicer aspect than just cloning them, which I think is a little bullshit. Alright, we're turning out the Luciferium now, step two, and that's apparently taking them no time at all, boom. And are they going to start making the, the, the serums now? Look at this. Resurrect a mech serum. Let's bring it back to life. Let's do it. Krupp, this is this is big, my friend. This is big, big news. Uh, how do we, can, can, do we equip that? How does it work? Uh, pick up. Oh, no, you have to use it on a, right, oh, Mining Co. Hey, this, wait, are they still here? Is that the same ship? Hang on. Uh, that's the same ship. Yeah, no, okay, fair enough. Right, um, open wooden sarcophagus. Let's see if she, she is still frozen. I see. Yeah, she's there. She's fine. Missing body parts, 2.6%. That's fine. Lubov Voosh is, is, Lubov Voosh is picking out on food. Sure. Don't really care too much. Krupp, it's time. Let's resurrect him, my dude. Uh, and that's the resurrect. So that's the reconstructed to build up dead bodies. So if we find, we could exhume all of these graves. And what is that? 20, 40, 40. 145, 50, we got like 52 bodies there to dig up and go through and see if they're all force sensitive. We've got like a, a Sith army, like an undead Sith army. Okay, use Resurrector Mech on Orlean. Do it, Krupp Do it, my dude. If anybody brings back to life, it's got to be you. Hollenbot, don't ever do that. Oh, the fucking Hollenbot moved her and now it's interrupting things. Right, use Resurrector Map. Orlean. Right, take two. Don't ever touch her again, for the love of God. Please leave her there. Okay, here we go. Welcome back, Orlean. It's been a long time. She's she's back. Orlean has been brought back to life. Into the glitter world bed with you. Can, can he not go in and heal her up with the force? Use the force to, like, stabilize her a little bit? Let's see if that works. Heal. Nope. Heal other. Orlean. Or don't. Let's do that thing again where it doesn't work. You know what? I, I guess it's just, like, resurrection sickness. Yeah. It takes a while for them to get over that from what I remember. But holy shit, she's actually back. She's got a scratch car on her right arm. We will rebuild her. She'll be better than she ever was before. So right arm. <laughs> you've got a scratch on that arm there. Let's just pull the whole thing off and replace it with an advanced bionic one instead. Krupp failed. Krupp Vush failed to calm his ex-wife, Lubov Vush, down after he resurrected his dead girlfriend. I mean, there's a story there, isn't there? I'm not, I'm not going to probe it too much because I feel like it's not really my business. But you, you guys are already over that one. I'm also going to install one in her left shoulder as well. Like I said, we're going to bring them back better than ever. What about the rest of our prosthetics? Because I swear I ordered up a bunch of legs as well. We've got nothing but arms still. That's fine. I mean, arms are kind of more useful than legs right now. Legs are good for moving around. But when you're actually working, you know, like Priscilla is right now, arms are way more valuable than like quarters right now. Okay. Uh, I assume that was a... 
Oh, dispatch a spaceship, sure. So that's the one that obviously drops people off and they go on a little expedition, which I assume they just did and I missed them. Yeah, there they are. Hello, Mining Co. Good luck. I really like this. Oh, they're picking them up. It's such a cool little system where they'll drop people off and come back in a few days and pick the same ones up again. It's, it's, it's genuinely like makes the world feel a lot more alive. I only call Mining Co. again. Why not? We, look, we need the plastic as soon as possible to get all these upgrades. So let's do it. No ship available. Oh, shit. I guess it's because they one obviously dropped off and one just, just picked the other guys up as well. So that's fair enough. Um, I feel like I need to let the Great Dragons eat. But if we can move certain corpses over, it's a shame you can't. I, I mean, I don't know why you'd ever need to do it. Like, move certain corpses over based on their traits. Oh, come on. Just just go for it. You know, honestly, my dude, just, just eat them all. We can't let these. Oh, they're actually going for the meals anyway, which is great news. Maybe they eat the meals rather than the corpses, seeing as the corpses all seem relatively intact. A couple of missing the heads, but that's probably from the from the actual combat itself, rather than the crate dragons. And is that the last of our is the last of our guns? Lama Su, get yourself a gun. And Ultras has a gun. Harper ha is a brawler. Get the that's it. Everybody's got ATSD blast cannons. Send a raid, Randy. Send in the raid. Holy shit! I I want to see how this is going to work with an entire colony decked out. So you actually do need to craft two new lightsabers. Well, I need one for Kasaki and one for Orlean. Um, what are we going to go for then? Krupp and Karl obviously have sabers already. Uh, let's see what we've got. What have we got? We need lightsaber internals. So we need two of each if you don't mind. Um, copy those and we're going to paste them over into here as well. Wait, well I should have done that until we've got two. So we've already got two lightsabers in storage. Because I think we're going to need a lot more. Bearing in mind the amount of people we're probably planning to resurrect here. I think one army of people with like power armor and ATSD blast rifles. Then another army of just like Sith would be incredible. So let's copy all bills in this. Oh, for the love of fucking God. Right, copy all bills in this workbench. Cancel everything here. Paste these ones in. Right, there we go. I do like this system. I think this is a really, really useful little sub mod. And then how is it we actually make the lightsabers themselves? Is it at the, at the smithy? Yeah, that's it. Um... What have we not got then? So we've always got double sabers, but they do more DPS, so I don't know why you'd ever go for anything else. Um, I don't know, maybe they have a high deflection chance with a single saber? Who knows? Well, let's just pick some ones that we haven't got so far. So let's go for the lightsaber pike. I want to I vary it up a little bit here. Uh, let's go for... Um, I guess we go for like a cross hilt. Kylo Ren in the forest. Let's, let's do that one. Why not? Six arms in storage, so we'll start again with Mitsuya. Everyone before Mitsuya has arms already. So you've got one, uh, one leg, so we've got arm and arm. So that's two, uh, four, and <laughs> the Ewok, really. There's got to be someone way more useful. Come on. Uh, Elefotnik has one. Let's give him another one. Uh, right shoulder, there you go. So we, we can install one more. My dude, like, Zico, Zico Cranchart, really not doing too well. I think we need to print off some organs as well. Let's go to the tissue printer and actually get some uh, some replacement organs for my dude. So what's he got right now? He needs a lung and a kidney. Now, to my knowledge, we need quite a few lungs, don't we? So um, let's go to this one. Now, we want to make the synthetic lungs, to my knowledge. Those give moving plus 10%. And wait, they give moving plus 10%, breathing plus 20%, and body part plus 100%. Or, or flat 100%. That's awesome. Okay, let's make a couple of those. Um, let's churn out, churn out two. Make... What else was he? He needed a kidney, right? Uh, Zico, health? Yeah, he needs a kidney as well. I mean, just getting everybody with these synthetic organs would be insane, but obviously that's a little too much to ask. These are quite expensive. Oh, we have to make the surrogates first, too. Right, I see. They need hyperweave. Oh, shit. Well, that's, uh, that's thrown that one out. Okay, sure. So we'll just make the surrogates for now. So we need a couple of lungs, and we need a kidney as well. So we can make hyperweave. That is possible. Um, there is a research for it. So let's go hyperweave. It's called matter weaving, hilariously enough. So let's put that one on the list of things to do and see how that ends up. But we've got a little bit more to do still. We're trying to go for those tier 4 androids, obviously. Might be a bit pointless at this stage. I think apparently we could just resurrect everybody. Another mining curve spaceship right on cue, just as we once again run out of more plastic. It's, it's crazy that even with this many mining bots with these boys literally dedicated to only churning out plastic. We're just constantly out. I guess it's not quite as overpowered as I thought, but even so, I imagine our colony wealth is ridiculous now. I bet it's disgusting. Um, I mean, it, it is not quite exponential, but it is very, very high nonetheless. Um, in the past, I don't know, where do we want it to go from? Like, let's, let's say like, uh, let's go from here. This seems, this seems about right. So day 220, we had 520k. Now at day 226, we've, man, we've gone up a lot. That, that is, that's exponential. The past sort of 20 days have been more or less exponential. So this is not ideal. Let's put it that way. All right. Carl Calrissian has got new stuff. Thank you, Carl. We'll take your 188 plastic, old man. We won't take no for an answer. Do you want some chem fuel? Oh, we don't have any chem fuel to sell you. Um, 
take medicine too. We need those for our resurrector. Do you want to sell them some steel? We've got 3,000 steel. There you go. I sell them 1,000 steel there, and hopefully that will uh, that will keep things going for a little bit longer. I don't I don't want to spend as you know, I, I kind of want to barter a little bit more because we are just going to run out of silver at the rate we're going right now. Especially, you know, constantly selling it to get some plastic in response. But this is working out pretty goddamn well. Now, do we have another Resurrector yet? No, we don't. We do have some lightsaber casing, which is a great start. So the lightsaber pike is being crafted there. Uh, author, everyone, actually just this robot. It's taking ages though, you know, even with these quite powerful crafting mods, it's still taking friggin' hours so we've still got enough components there, enough internal casings to obviously churn out a couple more. We're going to keep two in storage at all times, just because it seems like a pretty good number to have. Right, okay. So how are we looking in terms of the bionics game then? Oh, what have we churned? Oh, we've already got those lungs and kidneys done. Sweet, okay. So guess what, Zico? Your lucky day, my friend. You want to go left lung. So, oh, of course they don't show up on this list. Right? They do show up on this one though. I just want to double... Oh, no, there they are there. Okay, left lung. Boom. You're also into left kidney. Boom. Okay, that should be as good as new. Someone else needed a lung as well. I don't remember who. Um, I do remember if somebody need. Ah, there we go. Shari needs a new right lung. You're welcome, my dude. And that should keep everybody, you know, at a nice, a nice high level. There. Why have we got corn in the hospital? I don't know. I guess someone had a surgery and sort of fell down. Then we've also got nutrient solution under that lamp. Fucking mining co, my dude. They're just constantly back and forth, dropping off more dudes again. I like it. Like I said, it really makes the world feel alive. You know, it feels like we've got a proper little bustling space station here with people being dropped off and taken away and trade ships coming in. I mean, I said there was some variation. It wasn't just mining co, so like civilian ships maybe dropping some people off. You know, all sorts of stuff I think would be awesome. But yeah, I think that's a, it's a great start. It's exactly what Rumod needs and just a sort of trading ships that are really just an interface, let's be honest. There's no trading ship. You can't fool me, Tynan. So, what have we got? We still haven't finished that lightsaber, my dude. Oh my god, it's taking decades. The robot's just going to run out. It is legitimately going to run out of power before it even gets like halfway done with this lightsaber. We're going to have to. It's going to take a while before we check on that one. But we do have lightsaber crystals. The damning crystal, which we bought for Corrupt Boost initially, that he gifted to Orlean before she tragically died. That one will go to Orlean. Then we've also got the synthetic red crystal that we'll give to Kisaki Spoosh as well. So there we go. They're, they're not ideal. Surrogate lung moving 10%, but obviously it is better than not having a lung. In fact, is it? If it gives moving minus 10%, I suppose if it gives you more consciousness, it would make up for that. I suppose math. They, they've probably thought that mathematically. I'll trust them. Wild ball versus ATST. Oh, God. Uh, please shoot shoot straight. There we go. Unsurprisingly, ATST cannons tend to be stronger than uh, than wild balls. Crop us up again. He's level 44. My God. Wait, can we go point four storm yet? No, we still can't. Okay, so it is, I, I think I've discussed this before, I think I remember this from before, it's not nine points spent, because this costs three points, it's nine points allocated into the specific level. Nine levels, it, it should be probably said. Um, Force Drain, no? Oh, we can't get anything, we can get Force Rage. Right, one more point, and then we've got Force Storm, this is insane. Kisaki, you get lightsaber offense, so you can at least use a lightsaber. Orleans up, oh, that's awesome. Um, right, okay, so let's go for with Carl. I'm going, I'm going Reflection again. I think keeping them alive is, is proven to be essential. You saw Corrupt Vish take on that entire army. Worked out incredibly well. Is she still in a relationship with Corrupt despite the fact that she's now a zombie? Uh, she is. Her and Corrupt, good friends. Or, well, love, they're not really good friends, are they? It's, I mean, it's plus 35. That's uh, it's not fantastic. Right, okay. Um, are they, they are still sharing a bed and everything, huh? I don't need to, don't need to mess around with that. Yeah, no, Cord and Cull. Uh, where is Corrupt's bedroom? Oh, Krupp is there. Right, so we'll also assign her to that bed as well then. Uh, Krupp, and where is she? She's, she's obviously only just got up because she hasn't had a chance to go to bed yet. Because I imagine the AI would have given her that bed with Krupp. But hey, that works out fine. Welcome, Orlean, back to the colony. Boy, how we missed you. Are you, are you any good? I don't remember. Um, that should be resurrected. We need to set up her jobs again. Actually, you know what? She's pretty good. She's actually pretty good. A good doctor. Um, 9 out of 20. Ah, uh, you know, maybe not. Um... Bed rest is fine. Hauling is fine. Why, why is everyone not urgently hauling? I think everybody should be urgently hauling at all points. I, I mean, there's barely any jobs I'd like for them. I think only the researchers shouldn't urgently haul. In fact, one of them can't anyway. Um, wait, why is Krupp a researcher? You're not a researcher. Get out of here. Um, yeah, so, so the ones who the ones who, uh, who are the researchers also are the ones who can't haul. So that was out pretty well. Right, okay. So uh, speaking of which, where is she? Orlean. What else can you do? Um, don't do that. Don't do that. Definitely don't do that. You can build. Great. Just what we needed. Another freaking builder. Uh, can you do anything else? <laughs> no. I guess it's just someone else for the quarry. Oh, my God. This is awful. Uh, let's not have you do skilled jobs if you're crap at them. Welcome to the quarry, my dude. <sighs> 
the lightsaber pike is almost finished. Before the end of the episode, we are going to get to see uh, Orlean with her lightsaber pike. I don't think we're going to get Kasaki's done by the end, because apparently it takes about 40 years for these goddamn things to finish. Uh, it's understandable. They are very, very powerful weapons, aren't they? Speaking of which, does she have... She doesn't have any... So I don't know if she kept her force powers. I don't I don't remember if she got any points in the force powers. Sure, she did. Bear in mind that her uh, level has already grown quite highly. I'm not sure. Um, right, so where did that lightsaber pike go then? Oh, we still not finished it. 51. Keep a close eye on that, because I imagine it will be immediately smelted if we don't keep an eye on it. It's done. Oh, wait, is that it? Oh my god, it's huge. Uh, Orlean. No. Oh. Equip. Lightsaber pike. Awesome. I'm glad we haven't just gone for another... Wait, she's got mind trick, though. Level... Oh, probably because when you hit level... Okay, so it did keep it. Right, right, good, good, good. Okay. Equip. Diamond crystal. I want to see what this lightsaber pike looks like. Uh, yep. Nailed it. Oh, is that just because she was moving fast? Hang on, let's, let's lower the speed. No, no, it looks fine when you don't play on speed 4. That looks ridiculous. It's so massive. That's, like, actually nuts. What the hell? Oh, well, never mind. Um, it's kind of cool, though. We need to have people not take this Luciferium. If one of them goes on a drug... Oh, shit, I never thought about that. Um, I was going to say, if one of them has a mental breakdown and goes on a drugs binge or something, that could be a problem. That lightsaber is nuts. Absolutely insane. Four more advanced bionic arms. Let's get this out the way then. So who doesn't have any? You do. You need one in your right shoulder. So let's go operations. We need install. I'm just going to type in arm because I think, I think that's just going to apply to everyone, huh? Right shoulder. Boom. So that's, uh, how many have we got? Four. So Elo already has them. Priscilla already has one. Okay, nice. So that's one down. We got two down. So we've got two left. So you can have two then. Boom. There you go. One in your right, one in your left. Nice. We've actually only got a couple more people. I don't know if the androids can actually get... No, they definitely can't. That would be crazy, wouldn't it? Okay, that's fine. That's awesome, though. This is this is great. We've almost got everybody fully upgraded with arms. Does it affect their raining? I mean, I can't imagine it would, but that would also be very, very cool, obviously, if they're more accurate with their, you know, ATSD blaster guns. We're going to leave this episode here for today. Thank you all for watching. I think some great progress has been made. We have four Sith now. A fully upgraded. We have 14 people with bionic arms. I think we just went on a couple more there. But more importantly, 14 people with ATST 13, technically, because the robots are brawler. ATST blaster cannons. That's nuts. I absolutely cannot wait for the next raid. I'm kind of surprised we haven't had one yet. Let me just check. We're not like. What storyteller are we on? We are on Randy Ruff. I would be expecting more, but we could change storyteller to like. Phoebe Chillax is generally better for big old raids because it's like big raid and then you wait a little bit and then big raid. Um. I don't know. I don't want to go to Randy Savage because that's sort of screwed us before. But, hey, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll wait and see. But you know what we won't wait and see? We won't wait and see if I'm going to do my outro that I always do every episode. Big shout out to Lucas Holting, Sean Thornton, Hey Dog, Atmosis, Sidini. Oh, God, it's a new list. That blew my mind then for a second. Sidini, Tim Bragg, Gray, Loris, Croesus, Vacuous Backus, Josh Lindy and Tesla, Michael Mullen, Mora, Jacob Adesana Fenton, Powers Presley, Asuna Kirito, Conspired T, Jimbo, Oxwell, Fukuna Vasquez, Tom Terry 18, Average Gamer 419, Escape, Zazzy 711, Banyo Fausta, and Eric B. Thank you all for your support. The Insanity Levels on Patreon. Thank you for keeping the channel going and alive and monetized and all that good stuff. It is most appreciated. And as well, the same thing goes out to my good friends. Andrew Wilson, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Euphrates, I See the Great, Jack Allen, Wolfie, James Barnes, Petimus Max, Panther Pearl, Gabriel Mandos, Llewellyn Thomas, Nathan Flores, The Sage, Yoron DeVries, Haji Dumar, Alvar Kira, Alpha Scuff, Don Connor 2 and 7, Zet McDougall, Joseph Beard, Jordan Campbell, Harry McGowan, Chris, Sir Thor the Swede, Sir Death, Asro, Nick, Will Wade, Hancock, Noah Gallimore, Fraser Brennan, The Insane Pickle, Adam Person, John Holiday, Zico, Jay Lara, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, and Justin Plock.